Brace yourself tonight, since Hurricane Frederick is expected to hit later in the night. Make sure to stock up on necessities. Here's Annabelle with more on that. Thanks, Chet. The storm is definitely going to be coming in rough in the early hours of the morning, so please try your best to get everything you need together before the end of today. Also... Good morning. Michael Atwins has been marked with an unexcused absence for today. This is the 15th absence in a row. Mm. Please contact the main office immediately. See how you're doing. Haven't seen you in weeks. Aren't friends supposed to check in on each other? Whatever. Anyways, I'm supposed to give you this work. This drawer guy's been worried about you. Whatever. Thanks. Come stay with me, Mike. What? Wash yourself up, pack a bag, and talk to me about what's been going on. Yeah, I'm fine. I can tell something's off. Just come stay with me for both of our sakes. I told you I'm fine. Just go get ready, okay? I'm not leaving without you. Stop being so dead. Maybe later, okay? You can set your bags down anywhere. No, I'm alright. You wanna go outside? Uh Okay. It's just been so hard. 
what has. Just everything. I just, I want people to feel bad about being bad. What do you mean? I think I want to hurt someone. What? No, I, it's, that's, that's why I've been staying away from everyone. I'm, I'm scared. I don't, I don't know. Well, look, I'm here for you, all right? Do you want anything? Could you get me a Gatorade? Yeah, sure. It's just, I just feel so constantly alone, and I don't think anyone cares about me. It's been nine years since my mom has asked me how I'm doing. I just, I don't think anyone cares. Hey man, are you alright? Is it your mom you want to hurt? Is she hurting you? No, not, she's, she's the majority, but no. She doesn't even care enough to beat me anymore. Can we go for a walk? Yeah, sure. Where to? Fire. What? I would do it with fire. I just feel like I can't trust anyone anymore. Everything thinks that I know best, but... You can trust me, Mike. We've been through so much together. I can't just abandon it. I know. Thanks. But I don't know. I feel like everyone was just trying to hide something from me. What are you doing? What? Nothing. What? What's in your pocket? Like you always do that when you're nervous. Nothing. I'm not nervous. What? What's in your pocket? Nothing. Get off of me. I thought I could trust you! I was trying to protect you. That isn't your place! Look, what if I just wanted to have them? You could hurt someone or you could hurt yourself. I don't want you doing something stupid that could affect your future. I don't have a future! You're gonna go on to do great things, Rick, but look, I'm gonna be stuck here forever. You should care. Just because your life sucks now doesn't mean it won't get better. This isn't the end for you, Mike. Give it back! No! No! Let's go home, Mike. Get the hell up, Rick. I'm pretty tired. You mind if I shut off the lights? Mm.
As the storm rages on, I'm your late night host, Stevie Cosman. Here's some smooth music to ease your mind from the weather outside. Here's one of my favorites, sailing by Christopher Cross. Stay safe out there, y'all. We were just hit by the outermost rim of the storm last night. If you have any damage or stories from Frederick, call into 973-254-8032 for a chance to be featured on your go-to news, Q103.5 New York. Please tell me where the car is. I kind of need that. And just please don't. Never mind. Just call me back. Your car is on Allen Street in front of the White House. I will not be there. Do not try and find me.
seen the guy that left his car here? I think he went that way. Thank you. Get in. You could stay here, but you gotta hide in the basement. My mom knows you stole the car, and I'm sure she's heard about the house, too. When you're staying here, you gotta be careful. Let me take your bags up to my room. I'll bring you a blanket and stuff. There's food and drinks in the fridge. Just Try and keep it down, alright? Hey, uh, Rick? Yeah? I'm sorry. It's alright. I couldn't do anything for you before, but I'm here now. Just try and get some rest, alright? Sleep down here. Why? Uh, no reason. Who's after your friend Mike, you know? What the hell is he doing here? It's not what it looks like. No, no. He stole your car, blew up his house, which by the way killed his neighbor's landscaper. How do you feel any sympathy for him? Look, he didn't, I didn't know about the landscaper, but it's not what it seems. Look, I have to leave now to go pick up mom and dad from Boston. I want him out, all right, or I'm calling the cops. No! Well, then I'm calling them now. Get him the hell out of here. Like dolphins. Like dolphins can swim. Is this it? No. This isn't it. I'll keep you safe, I promise. Just, just stay down here. No, Rick, I can't do that to you. You'll be in trouble. Look, we're in this together now. Um, Rick? Yeah? Do you think you could stay down here with me until they come? 
Yeah, of course. But look, they're not gonna get you, alright? I'll keep you safe. I'll be gonna But I don't even think I deserve this. I, after all we've been through, I don't think I deserve to stay safe. Because we're best friends. We Just because we had a rough patch earlier in our lives doesn't affect our friendship. Just for one day. Thanks, Merc. Alright, I'm gonna add up. I will begin. And you, you will be queen. Though nothing will drive us away. Michael Atlin's in there? No. And even if he was, I'd never hand him over. Where is he, son? You'll never get him. Hand him over. Make it easy for all of us. You'll not get him. Son, we have a warrant. Your brother called for some help. It's all over. You'll never get him. Well, s settle down, son. Dear Mike, I'm so sorry I got you caught. 
It's my fault. I shouldn't have tested your limits. You didn't need that. Hopefully you could get away. That way I won't feel so bad about sacrificing myself. I guess in an ideal world, I would be apologizing in person, but if you're reading this, we're past that point. You deserve better, and I should have been there for you. I'm really sorry, Mike. I can't tell you what to do, but I don't think you should be on the run. It's gonna be so much for you, and I just don't think... I don't think it will really help you out, but no matter what you decide to do, remember that I only did this for what's best for you. I trust you'll make the right decision. I hope you understand why I did this. Best of luck out there. Love, Rick. starts reporting on Rick's death. Make sure that they know that he died trying to be a good friend. I have the letter. You can, you can send it off to whoever you want. You can even make it public if you want. Just make sure that the world knows that Richard Green was a great human being who deserved more than I could ever give him.